Hey guys, what's up? I'm Timothy Wu, and today I'm here with the Botletics Sim 7000 LTE Shield for Arduino. In the modern age of powerful smartphones, most of us probably take LTE for granted. In fact, some babies probably have an LTE device sitting in their crib somewhere. So what about getting some of this LTE technology and putting it together with some of this Arduino stuff? Sounds like a wonderful plan, but the main problem here is that although traditional LTE is great for streaming YouTube videos or uploading files, it uses a lot of power, which is a big no-no for IoT devices. So how do we solve this problem? Well, fortunately, some brainiacs have already figured this out for us in what's called LTE CAT-M technology, which includes narrowband IoT technology specifically designed for low-power devices. This new technology reduces the amount of stuff that you can transfer back and forth, aka the bandwidth, but in doing so, greatly minimizes the power consumption, which is perfect for IoT devices. Today, I'm happy to introduce the first open source LTE CAT-M and NB-IoT shield for Arduino that uses SimCom's 7000 series cellular modems to give users easy access to this cutting edge technology. This shield comes with all the cool features of future-proof cellular connectivity while easily interfacing with practically any controller, including our lovely Arduino boards. In addition to LTE, this shield has fast integrated GPS capabilities for location tracking, as well as a high accuracy temperature sensor on board. To use the shield, all you need to do is plug in a SIM card, connect the dual antenna, power up the Arduino with a USB cable or battery pack, and load the example code I've provided on GitHub. In just a few minutes, you can get your project sending data to the cloud via LTE. Easy peasy, LTE easy. Now because I learned a ton from open source projects, I've made this shield completely open source with full documentation, including schematics, design files, example Arduino code on making your own GPS tracker, for example, and a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how to get started. And of course, if you have any questions or find a new discovery, definitely let me know and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Having said all that, there are costs and challenges along the way that hopefully you will help me conquer. Designing and testing products like this takes time, and so does creating new resources and supporting users like you. Also, scaling the assembly of these boards when quantities grow beyond my capabilities will involve a tremendous upfront investment and time commitment. And certifications to ensure compliance of the product across different countries are also not very cheap. Your support will help users all around the world benefit from this bleeding edge technology while bolstering the open source community. This is why LTE Shield needs you. Thank you.